Interesting. Joe Biden's campaign is trying to reach voters not just in this country, but also those who live overseas. In 2016, more than 622,000 U.S. citizens living in Canada were eligible to vote in the presidential election, but only 5.3 percent of them did so. Joining us now, former U.S. ambassador to Canada, Bruce Heyman, who is working with the Biden campaign to increase turnout among overseas voters. Great to have you on the show, Mr. Ambassador. I would think, correct me if I'm wrong, the opportunity here is that President Trump has really made himself uh, quite notable worldwide and not in the most positive way. And might that boost turnout overseas. Is there a real opportunity here to get uh, voter turnout for Joe Biden overseas? I think you nailed it right on the head, Mika. I think that there is an incredible opportunity here to engage Americans overseas. In fact, many of us know Americans who live outside the United States, but numbers run as high as 9 million. And if that is true, that's the equivalent of the 11th largest state in the United States, which would mean there would be about six and a half million worldwide eligible voters. And in 2016, you used the number for Canada, but it looks like around 7 percent voted. And so that's the opportunity. And so the Biden campaign has looked at this and understands and appreciates all Americans have the right to vote, regardless of where you live. And Americans overseas are going to be approached in the most comprehensive way any presidential campaign has ever approached them. And they have a multi-factored approach that I think is incredibly unique, and I'm glad I'm here to share it with you. Mr. Ambassador, it's Willie Geis. Good to have you on the show this morning. I think most people will be surprised by some of those figures, particularly the 7 percent turnout rate among those 6.5 yeah. million eligible voters living overseas. Why is that number so low? Why don't more Americans overseas vote? Is it is it practically difficult to do or what's the reason behind that? A good question to my fellow Commodore here. Um, let me say the following. <laughs> Anchor down. Most Americans. <laughs> yeah, most Americans don't. I think you graduate a little after me, but most Americans <laughs> don't vote because they didn't know that they could vote. Uh, in surveys that we took. Second, they mm. thought they needed to have a residence in the United States. They don't need a residence currently in the United States to vote. They're protected by law. They, if they've never voted for, they still have the right to vote. We're taking this approach on and we're going to do a multi-factor approach. One of the most important aspects of this is that we have now asked ambassadors who serve the United States, like I have, to join in with their partners, like I am with Vicky, to come together and go back to their countries virtually and engage Americans in those countries. We have had mm. over 200 ambassadors and partners on a Zoom call last week. And if you're an ambassador who served the United States and you want to participate in this, raise your hand. We'd like to have you as an ambassador for Biden help support in getting Americans out to vote. The second thing we're doing is we're engaging a group called Democrats Abroad. Many in the United States don't know them because they're abroad. But they're in six continents. I'll let you guess which one they're not in. But 170 countries, 45 countries, they have substantive organizations. And we have 12,000 volunteers that are going to engage directly on the ground and getting out the vote mm. effort. And we're going to engage inf influencers, youth. This is, a, this is a really big effort for the Biden campaign. Historian and professor at Tulane, Walter Isaacson, is still with us. And he has the next question. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador. Good to see you again. Tell me, Good to are, see there, you all. Yeah, thank you. are there particular issues right now, particular things happening, particular things this administration is doing, or the, the whole situation we're in right now that, that will stimulate uh, Americans overseas to vote in greater numbers, to follow up on Willie's question about why they haven't voted in the past? Are there reasons now they're going to start voting? I think they're watching what's happened with the disintegration of the relationships we have with the countries that they're living in. Many of them live in some of our strongest allies and trading partners. The countries with the largest number are Canada, Mexico, and the UK, but also a lot of countries throughout Western Europe, uh, Japan, strong ally, Australia. And they're watching the relationship that Donald Trump has now 
created with each of those countries. And I think they're going to be incredibly motivated. They're not just American citizens. They are citizens of the world. And if you need to vote and you're going to vote, you need to go to votefromabroad.org. Every American outside the United States, get your phone out, get your computer out, go to votefromabroad.org. There's a 24-hour help desk if you have any questions to help you get through it. But it's important that you do this now because everything is fast forward on the international side. Ballots get sent out 45 days internationally ahead of the election, which means September 19th, you're going to get those ballots. You need to request them by email so they come right to your email box, not by a mail. There are 100 countries that don't even have effective postal service right now. And so we need to get those ballots back and we need to turn them back to the United States right away. And to do that, you need to register right now from votefromabroad.org. There you go. Former U.S. ambassador to Canada, Bruce Heyman, thank you so much for being on the show this morning. He is the author of the memoir entitled The Art of Diplomacy, Strengthening the Canada-U.S. Relationship in Times of Uncertainty. And thank you very much.